Now that I've been married, I've been realizing that communication is key in marriage. Communication, good, proper, helpful communication can go a long way in establishing a healthy married life, establishing good relationship with your spouse. It's interesting how when people get together, well, they begin dating, they go on dates together, they communicate a lot, they hang out, they spend time together, and they get married. And the time they get married, their communication is that it speaks. They are talking all the time, doing stuff together, going on a honeymoon, hanging out, having fun. But then what happens? Life hits them. The husband has to work, the wife has to work, and they begin to find less and less time to spend with their spouses. Time goes by. A few years later, possibly they have children at home. And then they go to take care of the kids. And everyone's running around here and there. One parent has to wake up early, get the kids ready, drop them off at school. The other parent has to sleep late because they have work to finish before they go to bed. Though they share the same bed, they hardly communicate. And the advice I have received is to maintain periodic date nights times you hang out with your spouse. So you grow in communicating regularly over time that you would make it a sacrament and not give up on spending time communicating with your spouse. Me and my wife have been doing that, would love to do more, but I've been realizing how it is important and effective to have good communication in your married life. Now I can continue speaking on this line of thought, but let me hold that for a couple more weeks when we held, uh, head into our relationships teaching collective called Love Life. But when I was preparing my message for tonight, it dawned on me as to how our relationship with God is very similar. In some ways, we also struggle in communicating with God. See the time if you have been a Christian, Initially, when you were in this dating phase, when you wanted to follow Jesus, really didn't know what faith is all about, you were curious. You would go to church, you would listen to sermons, you would open the Bible, try to read it and understand yourself. You would even begin to pray and try to establish a communication with God. And then later, you made the decision to follow Jesus, to have Jesus as your Lord and as your Savior. And when you made the decision, your communication with God was it that it speaks. You could hear God speaking to you, God ridding you of your sin, of your darkness, and welcoming you into His kingdom. And then what happens? Then you begin to go to church, and then time goes by. And then you get caught up in your busy life. And you find it so hard to maintain that good communication you had with God. And over time, your relationship with God strains because you're not in communication with God anymore. Friends, Christianity is not a religion. It's our faith which is a relationship with God. Our faith is very much an active, vibrant, ongoing relationship with God that we need to cultivate. But then, if our faith is relationship, then our prayer is communication. If our faith is relationship with God, then our prayer is communication with God. So let me ask you, how are you guys doing in your communication with God? How is your communication with God? Have you talked to God lately? Has God talked back to you? How is your communication with God going?